Hello guys, welcome back to RoboCop Week here on Beyond the Realms, and I am right in the middle of reviewing the Prime Directive films, which is a TV series from the early 2000s, and uh, first up, I, I reviewed Dark Justice, which is the first film. Today I will be viewing the second film, all these films go in order too, which uh, the second film is called Meltdown. Now I do not have a physical copy of this, like I have the disc out in the living room but you know, that I rented from the video store. Uh, which, yes, guys, we do have a video store here, uh, Family Video. So if you have a Family Video by you, you might want to check because they may have these for rent. That's where I've uh, found them. Um, but since I don't have a physical copy of it yet, I did pull up an image of it here um, on my phone that I will show you to show you what the cover looks like. And that is the cover. I know it doesn't show up very well there, but... That is what it looks like. So anyway, uh, as with the other films, these are going to be full of spoilers. Um, not too many people know about these films, and I want to get word out about them and figure some people might not care and just want to go ahead and hear about all of them. So I'm going to talk about the entire film beginning to end. So if you don't want to know what these are about, turn it off now. So, okay. The beginning of Meltdown starts with um, there's a break-in at OCP by these rogue criminals, and there is a woman in, in this uh, group of criminals, which becomes like the main focus. Her name's Anne. Um, <clears throat> they are trying to uh, steal the software of Saint. They're trying to uh, get rid of it. They get word of it, and they're trying to get rid of it. Uh, meanwhile, RoboCop is... Uh, they show him dealing with um, his directive to kill John Cable. He's very distraught, upset about the human side of him, is really bothered by it. Uh, you get flashbacks again to where they were partners in this alternate universe. Um, the Saint program continues to learn. Um, the, the, like the professor guy who is, who is putting it all together for Damien Lowe, his name is Ed Hodley, and um, it shows him conversing with uh, saint it's you know it, it continues to learn more and more as it becomes a sentient uh, being that can think on its own and uh, Damien is very pleased with this because he's getting very close to uh, you know wanting OCP to implement this and, and he thinks he has a good shot at it um, and meanwhile we see OCP as they are trying to resurrect John Cable and they realize it's, it's not going to happen so at the behest of OCP executive and John Cable's former wife, Sarah, she has OCP start to make him into a new RoboCop. He's going to be more under their control, and um, so they're going to, you know, this is going to be a fresh start on the RoboCop project. Um, and they, they order James Murphy to go and erase all records of John Cable. They, want, they don't want anybody to know that this new version of RoboCop, who he was before anything, so they're going to erase everything about him. Uh, RoboCop, um, well, and, and right here I'm going to say, John Cable's RoboCop, I'm going to refer to him as Robo Cable, which that's not his name in the film, but I get that from this book, <laughs> and it makes sense because you don't want to call him RoboCop 2, John Cable's RoboCop, so he will be called Robo Cable from here on out. So at this point, as Robo Cable is being made, RoboCop becomes the enemy of Delta City, um, and even during a media break broadcast announcing this, they uh, have a commercial <laughs> pop up on there, which is hilarious. It's for a DVD you can buy. It's called When RoboCop Attacks, and it shows all kinds of footage of him blowing stuff up, shooting people, shooting things, which I'd really like to have that DVD. Why don't they really make that? It would be cool. Um, so uh, RoboCop, or OCP tries to get a hold of RoboCop. They want to shut him down, dismantle him. Uh, so that way they can replace him with John Cable. And uh, this, in, this ends up leading to a showdown between RoboCop and RoboCable. And uh, this is the first time we see RoboCable in his full outfit. And it, and it looks exactly the same as RoboCop, except it has a more metallic coat or finish to it. Uh, the rogue criminals who broke into OCP at the beginning, uh, they end up helping out RoboCop. Um, and, um, you know, just helping him, they fix him up because he gets beat up pretty bad, of course. So they fix him up and they're helping him. And this is where the character Van comes into play. And we're also introduced to her daughter, Jordan, which plays a bigger role um, in some of the films to come on this. Um, <clears throat> but uh, Damien Lowe is then ousted as an OCP executive. Uh, but before he leaves the building, he goes into the room where Saint is. And um, he orders Saint to murder the entire OCP board um, of directors while they are having um, a board meeting. 
and uh, so it it uh, it like pr puts something in the air, it it carbon monoxide or something in the air, and it kills them all, and he erases the video evidence. Um, meanwhile, James Murphy figures out that RoboCop is his dad, and uh, we close this episode with RoboCop and Robo Cable um, after uh, they're kind of they're attacked. Uh, uh, they, we, we watch them walk off into the darkness as the Allies realize the OCP will be coming to destroy them both because, um, you know, as, as they're fighting again, you know, they, they start kind of talking to each other. John RoboCable is having flashbacks to what happened and realizes that he told RoboCop to kill him because, you know, he knew he, he was, there was no way around it um, because Bone Machine had him, and just, you know, go ahead and do it, and so he realizes all this, and he's not mad at RoboCop anymore, and they kind of make up, so that's, that's how it ends with them made up, they're walking away, they know OCP's gonna come after him, um, but that's, you know, that's pretty much a story of this, there is some stuff in here with Bone Machine, um, and he's, he's shown to be a really old guy, <laughs> um, but I think he, he's either killed or captured, honestly, guys, I can't remember, but this is the last we see of Bone Machine, uh, in this four series set. Um, but this, this film had a lot more action than Dark Justice. You know, I talked in Dark Justice how it started off strong and ended strong, but the middle part was a lot of talking and dialogue, which it was good, but it just, it's a robot cop, Robocop film. You want a lot of action too. This one de definitely had a lot more in it. And uh, Eugene Clark, which some of you may know as Big Daddy from George Romero's Land of the Dead, um, he plays the leader of OCP's tactical team in this film. Which I thought was pretty cool. He does pretty good. Um, he's not too bad at all. Um, you know, there's some good, uh, funny segments with Media Break, which actually there's probably even funnier segments with this um, than there are in the first film. There's a guy, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned him in the first review, but he, he's brought up more in this uh, named Archie Nemesis. Um, I think I did talk about him, but he's like a, uh, a talk show host that you know, uh, does satire on news broadcasts, you know, basically like a John Stewart or something, but much more brash and, 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 uh, just more of an asshole even more so. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I, I like this. I, I think that, uh, Meltdown was a little bit better than Dark Justice. I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10, a uh, very strong entry. Um, I like, you know, a lot of the emotional play between John Cable or Robo Cable and RoboCop. Um, it's very cool to see, you know, and it's neat how, you know, they're pushing RoboCop out to replace him with this new RoboCop that they say is going to be better. So, yeah, guys, I'll show you once again the cover here. Uh, I close it all the way out. So, the cover, that is RoboCop Meltdown. Um, so, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I will be coming back with the third film, uh, which is RoboCop Resurrection out of the Prime Directives very soon. So take care, guys, and I will see you soon. Later.